Welcome back to another B Model Review, everybody. Today we've got another Star Wars piece to look at. This is, of course, Luke Skywalker. Uh, and this piece is made by XM Studios. And I know, thankfully, for a lot of collectors, this is not, you know, Luke from The Last Jedi, even though I thought he was kind of a badass in that movie. But we're not going to go there. This is Luke from the original trilogy and arguably the best movie of the entire saga, The Empire Strikes Back. So, I know Star Wars fans are some of, you know, the hardest to please out of, you know, all any genre of uh, collector. And so we're going to jump right into this review and see, does this statue live up to those kinds of expectations? Do you want to have this one in your collection? Let's get into the review. Jump right into the sculpt and design on this statue. So let's start with the base. Um, you know, we got the snow covered base, which immediately places him on Hoth. I mean, that's immediately recognizable. You know, this is from Empire Strikes Back. Um, he's standing atop his speeder, which has just been shot down by the Imperial Walker. And the base has some really nice detail here. You know, you look at the, the speeder itself, you know, the, the booster on the back, detailing the paneling on the, on the speeder itself. And even under some of these removable parts, they've detailed inside these little compartments here. You know, you got this other one. When you look inside here, you know, they've detailed in there as well. So really nice, really nice base, actually. I think uh, it helps to paint the scene nicely. So, you know, Luke himself, you know, let's look at the suit. Uh, you got some nice leather texturing on the boots and the belt, the pouches and everything. You know, the straps of his harness you can see on his legs. You know, you got the chest piece, all the buttons are there, the ribbed pattern down the sides of the arms and on the back. Uh, so really nice job detailing the suit. Um, but, you know, with any movie piece, uh, you really want the likeness of the actor to be there. And I think they've done a pretty good job here. I, I can look at this portrait and, and immediately know, you know, that's supposed to be Mark Hamill. It's got a pretty good likeness. I actually had a chance to see this this portrait without the visor when I was in Singapore last year and you know when you see it without the visor I think you can really see that the, the likeness is pretty good so uh, the, you know the helmet itself is also uh, really nice uh, they've got the cap you know that little white cap under the helmet detailed there so nice attention to detail there um, the pose uh, you know, it's a pretty standard museum pose for the most part, but I really like the tilt of the head. I think if he was just looking straight ahead, um, you know, it would just be a standard museum piece and you'd say, okay, you know, yeah, Luke Skywalker, he looks good. The tilt of the head, to me, just paints the whole scene. Now, I know this is not a direct frame rip from the movie. He's ne He didn't stand like this in the movie at all, but... You know when, what scene this is. This is shortly after his speeder gets shot down and you can tell he's looking up and you know he's looking at an Imperial Walker. It's going to be right there. He's going to be right underneath it. And when I look at this piece, I just immediately imagine everything around him because it's, so, it's such a, you know, uh, uh, an amazing scene. Uh, and so I, I, I immediately see it. It, 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 it. The tilt of the head, I just, I can't stress enough how much that just adds to the whole piece so um, you know film accuracy is you know, of course very important for Star Wars pieces and I think they, it's pretty good uh, but I did rewatch the scene uh, a few times before the review and I picked up a few inconsistencies uh, we'll start with his boots I'm pretty sure he was wearing white boots or at least you know a lighter brown boot uh, noticeably lighter uh, the belt uh, the number of pouches on the belt, I mean, uh, I think he only had one pouch here, so that's a little bit different. And I don't think he had a gun holster on his suit in the movie either. So that's just a few little things that I picked up. But, you know, if you can live with those sorts of things, I think, you know, the sculpt design-wise, it's a really nice piece. And as I said, that tilt of the head just helps paint the whole scene. So really nice job from XM Studios there. We're going to move on talk about paint. Uh, you know, the paint job on this statue is really, really nice. Um, the base, you look at the speeder, they've got sort of this brushed, it looks like a brushed metal type of finish on it. I think they've done a nice job with that. A little bit of rust and things in there uh, that you can see. So, you know, pretty nice finish. They've got, you know, the snow up around here. 
Um, so I, I, nice job on the base itself. You look at the suit, um, you know, he's got some snow up around his, uh, the soles of his boot, uh, some nice, you know, grungy weathering on the gloves. You know, there's some uh, dirty, you know, a little bit of a dirty weathered look to the, to the uh, jacket, some snow on the shoulders and things. So nice job there. You'll notice the, the two-tone orange is, you know, the jacket is slightly different color from the pants and that is consistent with the movie. So uh, nice job there. Uh, the helmet has a nice worn look to it as well. Really nice job with the logos on the helmet. Nice clean application there. I think the skin tones look pretty nice as well. Um, so overall, I, I think the paint job, there's really nothing to complain about. It's, it's a nice clean paint job. Uh, the colors look pretty good. Skin tones look pretty good. Some nice weathering there. So overall, nothing to really complain about paint-wise on this statue. We're going to move into production and build quality for this statue. You can see I've disassembled it for you here. Um, I've got the statue. You can see under his left foot he's got a metal peg and there's a slot for it right here. So you know he'll pop in pretty nice and easy. Uh, just slide him in like this. And he fits in there nice and secure on the base. It doesn't wobble at all. So that's nice. Uh, you got the head. Just pops in and it attach, you know, it's secured in place with a magnet, so it slots in like that, nice and easy. You got the two pieces on the on the speeder that I showed you earlier are removable, so those uh, connect with magnets as well. Uh, nice secure magnetic connection. So you pop those in, and then you got a couple options for the right hand. You can go with the harpoon gun here. Uh, you know, the one he uses to pull himself up underneath that. At, at Walker uh, to take it down single-handedly so you can go with that or they've given you this blaster option here um, so I had the harpoon one in earlier so I will go with the blaster to just to show you what it looks like again another magnet connection nice secure connection there and you got two options for the gun holster now as I mentioned earlier I don't think he's wearing a gun holster in the movie but um, you know you can switch between these two options uh, so when you got the the blaster in the hand you can use the holster that's closed up right there uh, or when you go with the harpoon gun you can switch to this one with the blaster in it so since I got the blaster in hand we'll go with the empty holster here and it's just another magnet connection slots in like that and lastly but maybe most importantly, of course, for a Jedi, is his lightsaber. So it's just got a little hook here and a little hook on his belt. And you just slot it over like that. So there you have it. Nice and easy to put together. It's got a good weight to it, this piece. Nice quality feel to it. Um, pieces all fit together nicely, as I said. You know, the base itself... It's fairly wide, but overall the statue is, is fairly compact, which is nice. Uh, you, you should be able to display this piece fairly easily. Uh, the packaging, you'll notice, you know, this is the typical XM packaging, but it's got, you know, the photo of Luke on it, which is a little different from their normal box, which is just plain black. Um, I think this is a, must be a licensing thing. Uh, most Star Wars statues and you like even hot toys, you know, PFs from Sideshow have this style of box. So um, it must be mandated, I think. Um, but packaging really good. Pack, everything's packed secure. So production-wise, quality-wise, this statue turned out really good. We're going to wrap up this review. Uh, Luke Skywalker from XM Studios, of course, in his Rebel pilot suit, which I think makes this statue fairly unique. I can't think of any other Luke statues where he's wearing his flight suit. Uh, usually he's in his Jedi outfit. Um, so this might be the only one. I could be wrong on that, but you know I think that makes it pretty unique. Uh, in my opinion, this is probably the best Luke Skywalker statue on the market, uh, despite some film inaccuracies uh, that I talked about, like the boots the, and the, the gun holster and things. Um, you know, you kind of wish it was maybe a little bit more uh, accurate to the scene from the movie, but you, know, you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. You know, someone at Lucasfilm could have could have told XM, "Hey, we want you to put a gun holster on it." We don't know. So 
anyways, like I said, if you can live with those little things, and, and I didn't even know that they were there until I watched, I just watched the scene right before I'm filming this, so that's the only reason I know they're there. Um, otherwise, I think it looks really good. Design, I love the tilt of the head, how that just you know helps me imagine the whole scene around him. Um, so for me, this is more than just this statue. It's, it's the whole scene from the movie, and I love that aspect of this piece. So good paint on it, nice likeness in the portrait. So overall, really nice quality piece. The production turned out well. As I said, I think it's the best Luke Skywalker one-quarter scale piece on the market. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, again, Luke Skywalker from XM Studios. Uh, we'll have more reviews coming up later in the year, of course. So stay tuned to our channel, and we'll talk to you guys soon.